Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about how to make this hollow back plaque and also where to get them from. They're really cool. Um, I was I go to Las Vegas every year to the trade show, the APA trade show, and I bought some stuff from these people before, but this year I was actually visited with them and, and met them and found out their story on how they got started, and Everything is 100% made. I mean, they don't outsource the wood from anywhere. They have a big shop and they, they kind of a family organized deal and really cool. And I bought some wood thins from them like you could get from several different places on the internet. Uh, but those are evidently made elsewhere, you know, outside the country. And they only really ever have alder. Well, this company, Colorado Heirlooms, has alder, walnut, maple, and three or four more than I know of. But they sell a lot of products, boxes and frames. And I have bought some stuff from them before, and I just got some more. So I thought I'd show how to make this. And it comes with a glass and everything. So here we go, and that's what it, I'm designing. And this is my granddaughter and... I thought how cool to have a gymnast, you know, in the wood. <clears throat> so this is really easy. Let's zoom in here. This is our frame. So when you get your frame, you're going to measure it, the outside, and it's 8.25 by 6.25. They sell four different, I think, four different ones. And you've got to take in a couple of considerations. One, it's got a rounded edge. They've used a router, so you don't want to get off that routered edge, so you need to make some measurements, so you've got your outside edge that you can run some tests on, make sure you're in the machine, then you've got your inner side, inner side edge, just so you make sure you're not in that router part, then you're going to have the what is actually the dimension of their frame on the inside. But then you, you want to leave a little leeway in case you're a little bit off. You want to have, you don't want to cut into the solid wood because these are made out of one piece of solid wood and then they mill down the inside. So you want this other little frame is kind of like your safety factor and it'll keep the picture in. And you can make that any size. You can make it half the size and, and do a lot with it. So we're going to work on this. So I'm going to get red, and I've got my nudge factor set on 5 inches. I'm going to get red of this part of the frame right here, and I'm going to move it down 5 inches. I want this. Here's my clip art I brought in. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it, Control D, and I'm going to move one of them out of the way. And now I'm going to take my, let's zoom in here a little bit my virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete my lines that I do not want the laser to cut. I do not want it to cut this so it'll stay intact and you can always kind of do a test with your color fill tool and that's what it's going to look like. And then you've got that part done Grab that. Let's move that out of the way. Let's move it out of the way 10 inches. Now let's put this back. So it's exactly, our copy is exactly where it was. Now change it to, let's say, one and a half point black. And now you're going to take away the opposite of what you took away before. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete this. So now it's going to engrave just these few sections that are off the, the cutting surface. Move this back 10 inches. So hit your key twice. You don't really need this square anymore. It was just a safety factor so you can delete it. So you can go out to your shop, leave your lid open and run two tests or one test on that inner circle that inner square just to make sure you're in the right spot 
and then run a combination job with uh, engrave and vector and it'll engrave all the black lines and then so when you do this after you've got it in your laser and you've tested everything you want to remove those boxes because you don't want them to cut you only want to have on the screen what you're going to cut anyway i hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching